I work just as hard and I'm capable of achieving amazing things and so are you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah and I've been a nurse practitioner for going on five years now. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is something that I really struggled with in the beginning of my nurse practitioner journey. So I wanna to talk to you guys about what I did to overcome it. So what is imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome is that feeling of unworthiness despite achieving accomplishments and success. So you finished schooling, you've got your degree, you passed your boards, you've got your first job, and it's time for you to go in to see your first patient. And as you're talking to your patient, you feel insecure, you feel like a nervous wreck, you feel like an idiot, you start to think, this was a big mistake. So I just wanna reassure you guys that all of these feelings are normal. And I'm speaking from firsthand experience. So let's talk about how to overcome those feelings. By the way, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the like button on this video. All right, let's get to number one. As someone who's new in their role, you're really not supposed to know everything. And it's completely normal for there to be a learning curve. I don't care how long you've been in school, a very large portion of what you learn comes from on-the-job training. And to be realistic, you may have the pleasure, and I'm being sarcastic here, <laughs> you may have the pleasure of working under somebody who tries to belittle you or tries to make you feel bad about what you don't know. And this can be extremely frustrating, it can make you feel really insecure and make the imposter syndrome even worse. So first and foremost, if you are in that situation where you're training under somebody who's making you feel so uncomfortable, see if you can train with somebody else. What's most important during this time is that you keep asking questions and take advantage of the fact that you are new and you're not expected to know everything. Don't feel intimidated or that you'll look stupid if you keep asking for questions, if you don't get to ask for clarification of those questions. Take notes, just like you're back in school. Soon your training is gonna be over and you'll be on your own. So make sure you're utilizing your network and your resources while you're new and while they're more willing to help you out. You have to feel confident in your knowledge. So one of the reasons why we feel like imposters is because we feel like we don't know what we're talking about. Learning doesn't end after you earn your degree and you need to work on mastering your craft. Yes, I know you already graduated. Yes, I know you passed your boards, but you have to keep educating yourself. You need to be spending some of your free time studying. As you're beginning to feel more confident in your knowledge and you know that nobody can refute what you're saying, that's when you're gonna start feeling like you actually really belong in your role. My first MP job that I took, I was just so excited to be there. And I noticed that the time was passing, but I still wasn't feeling confident in what I was doing. And that's because I wasn't devoting any time to studying. I wasn't devoting that time to master my craft. I didn't wanna spend my free time studying. <laughs> I didn't wanna spend my free time looking up anything. I wanted to enjoy my paycheck and live my best life. You need to work on your craft and you need to make note of the areas that make you feel the most uncomfortable. Devote time to it and study during your downtime. Now, the next time you encounter that situation, not only will you not be uncomfortable, you actually might be excited to apply the new knowledge that you've gained. Let go of being a perfectionist. So there's one thing that I can definitely guarantee you, and that's that you will make mistakes. Even the most experienced person isn't perfect and has oversights and they make mistakes. Don't hold yourself to an impossibly high standard because in the end, you're just gonna beat yourself up that much more when you do make that inevitable mistake. Instead of telling yourself, I'm a fraud, speak more positively to yourself. Instead of saying, I'm a fraud, I knew I was gonna fail. Give yourself a little bit of grace. One thing that I like to do is take note of the mistakes that I make. I use it as a reference to refer back to so I don't keep making the same mistake over and over again. So this next one, I didn't really understand the value of this until I actually did it. Take the time to reflect on how far you've come. So I think a lot of us get caught up in the day to day and stress and family and kids and work. And I think that we don't truly sit down and reflect on where we actually came from and all the things and the work and time that we devoted to get to where we're at right now. 
It's so easy to get caught up in beating ourselves up about mistakes that we've made at work or how we didn't do something perfectly. You've got to take a look back and see how far you've come. This is a really a great way of measuring your success. One day I sat back and I looked at photos of my phone of 22 year old me and I was a brand new nurse and I looked back at my 22 year old self and I said, man, you really work your butt off to be where you're at and you deserve every bit of your success. Sometimes you really have to remind yourself that you earned your place, just like everybody who's sitting next to you in that role. They're no different, they're no better than you, and you're not inferior to them in any way. Being new doesn't make you inferior. Everyone has been in your place before. Every single person, even the most confident person that you're working with, they've been the new person before. So just give yourself grace, be patient with yourself, and reflect on how far you've actually come and what you went through to get to where you're at. Realize that you are not alone. Dealing with imposter syndrome can feel like one of the loneliest experiences ever, but you actually have to remind yourself that you're not alone. Most of the people dealing with imposter syndrome never really talk about it, so it's an internal struggle. Talk to your peers. Open up and ask them if they're experiencing similar feelings, and I guarantee you there's gonna be some people that relate to you. Search for YouTube videos like this one and hear about other people's experiences and how they overcame imposter syndrome as well. So at this point in my career, I've been working as an MP for going on five years. I can definitely say that I have overcome imposter syndrome. I am not 100% confident in everything that I do and I've talked to you guys about that. There's a lot that I still don't know. There are tons of topics that I don't feel like an expert on, but guess what? I'm working towards it. And I've come to the conclusion that I deserve a seat at the table just like everybody else. I work just as hard and I'm capable of achieving amazing things and so are you. So please work on these things. Try the things that I suggested in today's video and I promise you the imposter syndrome is a temporary feeling. It does go away, it does get better and you will start to feel like you made the right decision and you will feel like you truly do belong exactly where you are in your career. So thank you for tuning into my video today. If you have any questions or wanna leave a comment down below, I do respond to all comments, so please do. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.